place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, today is Monday, May 20th, 2019. I'm Ramon, here with Giovanni, and we'd like to welcome you back to another great day at Lakeside Middle School. Let's start, it, let's start today out with a few messages from our administration. Morning, Lakeside Middle School. Happy to be here. Happy to be here <laughs> nice again. Nice to see you guys. And it is Monday, and we are closing in on the end of the school year. We're closing in on our eighth grade activities, <laughs> our eighth grade dance coming up this Friday. Crazy. And also a big three-day weekend with Memorial Day weekend. Yes. So one week from today, will there will be, be no students here. And hopefully or we, staff. We will, will be wearing they, different outfits yes, on the next hopefully Monday. Hopefully we will. We'll see, we'll see. Times are tough. <laughs> But with that said, who do we have? Who, do we, who are our students of the laughing, day? I can't stop laughing, but I'll try. We have Jocelyn Torres coming to us from Miss Singh's class. Round of applause for Jocelyn. Right. Miss Singh had these wonderful words to say. It is a pleasure to have Jocelyn in my science class. Jocelyn is an intelligent, kind, hardworking student who always does very well in class. Awesome. I know Jocelyn will continue to fi find success in the years to come. Keep up the great work and continue to spread your kindness, Jocelyn. Good job, Jocelyn. Go, Jocelyn. Congratulations, sweetie. And also being honored by Miss uh, Singh is Kimberly Magana. Let's give Kimberly a big round of applause. And this is what uh, Miss Singh had to say. Kimberly is a delight to have in my science class. She is always on task, very hardworking, and always puts forth her best effort. She is a very kind and polite young lady, is always enters the classroom with a smile, which helps brighten Miss Singh's day. Keep up the great work, Kimberly. Congratulations. So then you go, way to go. And we have some treats here for you. Starburst, nice. Is it no surprise? Musketeers, yeah, last one. Is last the last one. Musketeers it's here. It's coming. Congratulations to yes, all of you guys. Yes, congratulations to both of you. And we hope you guys have a great week, the rest of the week. Uh, make good choices out on campus. Enjoy yourselves the last few weeks of school. That's right. Work final, out on your finals. Final exams coming up, yeah. a big part of your grade. Again, stay focused. I know it's kind of hard to do for all of us, really. Yeah. Believe it or not, administrators, teachers, we get excited, too, as we near the end of the year. Absolutely. So we'll stay focused, you stay focused, and let's have a great uh, Make sure you study. end of the year. That's yeah. right. All right, guys. Take, take care. care. Thank you, administrators, and congratulations to the students of the day. Eighth graders, listen up. Eighth grade activities are right around the corner. That is the dance, yearbook signing party, and best of all, Knott's Berry Farm. It is important to remember that your grades, behavior, and attendance, yes, including tardy, still matter to ensure that you are eligible to attend activities that you purchase. Here are the dates for our upcoming events. The dance is this week on Friday, May 24th. The yearbook signing party is on Tuesday, May 28th. And Knott's Berry Farm is on Tuesday, June 4th. If you have any questions regarding your 8th grade activities details, see Ms. Peaster or Mr. Brooks. And for eligibility questions, see Mr. Stewart. The librarian would like you to know that the library will no longer be checking out library books. Please return any overdue library books and pay any fines on your account. 8th graders may not participate in 8th grade activities if there are any fines in your account. The last day the library will issue a loaner Chromebook for a technical issue will be May 24th. You may still send in your Chromebook for repair until May 28th. Finally we, finally, we will want to remind all students to be sure to spend your Robux before the school year is over. Robux will not roll over to the next year, and many of you have hundreds of dollars in your account. Check out, this, check out the list on, of Roar Store items posted in your classrooms and start spending on either Tuesday or Thursday on, at the Roar Store during lunch. Don't forget your ID either. Remember that the best way to stay up to date on the events and information on campus, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter at LakesideVVUSD. Bye, Lakeside, and don't forget to be respectful, organized, accountable, and responsible. Roar!